Calgary Stampede went into a paddock and up towards it. Well, hello everybody, it's uh, Suffolk Andy here. Uh, come to a place that I don't like. It's old abandoned church. As you know, I went to one down in Essex a few months back last year. Uh, this is another one in uh, Suffolk. Um, loads of uh, abandoned churches and old houses in Suffolk. But there's a slight difference with this one. I don't like it. Um, I came here 10 years ago. Uh, and had quite an experience uh, with a ghostie and I said I'd never come back but uh, here I am things you do for vlogging and actually it's not that I've got to face my fear of this place it's just that I've got to face my dislike of this place uh, I did come I came up here on Wednesday and used this little camera and when I got home nothing but the trouble is today, it's uh, so windy, I'm going to have to do it with the uh, head cam or the drift because uh, the sand on here will just be blown out by this wind. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's make our way up to the ruin. Uh, like I say, I uh, don't like this place at all. Gives even gives me the eebie-jeebies. As you can see... Uh, there's an old graveyard on this part. Uh, it will get worse, trust me. So, let's make our way up to the ruined church. I did mention in... Uh, I did mention in one of my vlogs oh, quite a long while ago about the experience I had here. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh my God, yeah. Right, let's make our way up here. Yeah, um, I had what they call an attachment. That means that a ghost actually latches onto you and uh, they're quite hard to get rid of. Trust me. I know some of you boys and girls don't believe in any of this uh, ghosty stuff, but it is true. And, uh, yeah, I had a very bad experience here. So let's make our way through here. Oh, my God. Oh my god, look at this. As you can see, there's pigeons. <laughs> Made me jump a little bit. As you can see, there's old graves and stuff in here. Ooh. Right, let's make our way up to the actual church itself. Get through here. There's the old ruins. Let's get inside it. Yeah, no roof. <laughs> Completely abandoned now. An old gravestone down here. Eighty you know something. Let's just have a walk down here. Yeah, this place gives me the heebie jeebies, I tell you. I don't like it. I'm not happy here. Uh I know I've come back. But I was thinking about doing it for quite a while. And uh I thought, right, I might as well share this with uh, my subscribers. I know some of you boys and girls like the old ghosty stuff and, and the old history stuff and stuff like that, you know. So, as you can see, you can come through here. Rolling fields and stuff here. More old graves. You can walk through. These uh, were made this width. You can just about get a horse and cart of the olden days through here. There's the 
miss the vowels, but the vowels are gone now. They're in different churches in Suffolk. So yeah, so you can just about get a horse and cart through here uh, for funerals and stuff like that in the olden days. So if you can afford one. It's a very windy day here in Suffolk. It's, if anybody wants to come out here, it's uh, since John, John the Baptist Stanton which is about 30 miles from Ipswich. Well, let's look in here. Well, I think after today, I don't think I'll ever come back here. It's enough for me. There's an ambience about the place I don't like. They still use the uh, graveyard here, still in use. This part here, as you can see, still all in use. Modern and old. But, uh, oh, I don't like this place. I don't know what it is about it, you know. I don't usually get the EBs for anything like this. I deal with these sort of things all the time. But this is one place that uh, doesn't do it for me, I'm afraid. As you can see, uh, there's people here, look at this. At uh, graves and whatever. Look at these, my word. Look at them. what the dates are on there you can't hardly really see it eighteen ninety seven the last one at the end there I think this one is a lot earlier here uh, look. really don't like this. This would be a uh, wonderful place to come out at night and uh, do a ghost hunt, there's no doubt about it. If you're into that, so if you're into that, come out to Stanton, John the Baptist, and and do a ghost hunt out here. I'm sure there'd be some surprises for you. <laughs> I know there would be. Where am I going? Do I get out of here? Oh my word, look. Anyway, I think that's enough from, from me, from uh, Suffolk Andy's. One of the most scariest places. I've got one or two others that are more scarier to me than this, but this is not good for me either. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed uh, a little walk around this uh, ruined church, and like I said earlier, it's worth a look if you're out here. Have a look. Have the pants scared off you. You'll be all right. <laughs> all right, let's get back to the bike. I've got about a 35 mile ride back to uh, Itchy's now, and the wind is horrendous. I've just came up the A14, and I was like a Moto GP hanging off the side of the bike to keep it straight. Mind you, I was doing a little bit of mile an hour there. <laughs> but. <laughs> I think I'm going to go back the back rows today. I don't fancy doing that all the way back to Ipswich. So anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, would you like to come out here and uh, do a ghost hunt? Would you uh, like just to have a walk around? Did you find it a peaceful place? Did you uh, see anything unusual in the footage? I didn't, but maybe you did. So let me know, boys and girls. Uh, oh, that wind looks really pushing me back. <laughs> um, ride safe, everybody. Love each other. Suffolk Andy.